Dr. Iraj Abedian is the chief executive of Pan-African Capital Holdings and kicked off the second day of the insurance conference taking a close look at the National Development Plan. Dr. Abedian, you, you know, you obviously highlighted that state capacity is important to the implementation of the NDP. If this is the case, how much can business really do? Business has got a major role to play in uh, reinforcing the capacity of the state in different areas of NDP as we know it. There are nine uh, sections or nine focus areas. In just about every one of them, uh, business has got roles to play. Uh, but let me point out one of them, for example, in the area of the skills generation, the skill augmentation, upskilling of our labor force, um, dealing with the issues of um, integration of business with educational institutions in order to convert knowledge into skills. And that's just one area. Um, but there are areas of health uh, for, for the workforce. Business has got a role to play. Um, in the areas of infrastructure, uh, broadly defined, um, again, business, government cannot do it and will not be able to do it. Not just at the level of implementation, but even at the level of design, what is appropriate, what is not. And business over the past 20 years has been relatively silent and more of an armchair analyst uh, from time to time throwing some good ideas in and leaving it to the state to do. If you're in a situation that the capacity for, the, for such a major integration does not exist within the public sector, and it's not the fault of the current government, um, our South Africa over the past 40 years has not had a culture of public sector integrating the needs, uh, short, medium, long-term needs of the society and the economy. So there is, a, there is a gap there, and business has to come to the party, but not in a theoretical way. It's got to come in by saying, these are the focus areas, this is what I can do, these are the areas that I cannot do. And by being a participant in the design, business can go a long way to make up for this lack of culture of integration. So the bottom line is really that business must just do it. <laughs> Absolutely, business must, uh, we haven't got time. Uh, time is not, it's not in our favor, we have 40 years of neglect in our um, social economic infrastructure planning, we have to catch up with it, and government is almost daunted by it. Um, it's uh, trying to pick up the pieces and picks up some and the others fall apart, and business got to recognize that and bring a lot of planning, which we do in business as a matter of course, uh, monitoring, which we do it as a matter of day-to-day -day operations. Those techniques also have to be brought on board. Um, and help the, 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 the whatever effort the government is making. You made the comment that the current insurance products don't encourage savings. Why is this your opinion? Look, uh, it's not just my opinion, it's a fact. It's a fact that if you analyze um, all the savings products that we have in the country, when you add uh, the admin costs, the performance costs, the cancellation costs, this cost, that cost, um, very little left. Um, asset managers and, and uh, in, uh, savings institutions have a lot to answer as to why none of the products over the long term performs in favor of um, the saver or the nations. We cannot have uh, the workforce working 30, 40, 50 years um, and then at the end their pension is not able to take care of their uh, their living standards, which means make them again dependent on the state. Um, uh, so there is a lot of self, soul searching to be done. There is a lot of uh, hard questions to be answered. That if we if we point finger at the government, what is the insurance and savings institutions and asset managers are doing in structuring product after product after product that is designed to extract value from the client, not build value for the client.